Back a few years ago, we had a situation in Formula 1 very similar to the current one, Mercedes domination. Three straight years of relentless success, though, seemed to be quite possibly coming to an end, with 2017 seeing a raft of new regulations that would allow the pack behind to close the gap. And when the 2017 season came around, a revived horse pranced its way back into title contention with four-time world champion Sebastian Vettel leading Ferrari's assault on the Mercedes regime's hold on the championship. And Vettel for most of 2017 would lead the title fight between himself and Lewis Hamilton and as we entered the final few Grand Prix, it seemed Mercedes' dominance was coming to an end. But due to a big mistake and a couple race weekends of unreliability, the tide swung enough back into the German team's favour to allow for a fourth consecutive title for the team. Ferrari's resurgence though would not be a blip as they returned the following year with a car even quicker and as a team returned in 2018 looking even stronger than years before. And at the midpoint of the season with Sebastian Vettel and Ferrari taking a brilliant and sensational win at Lewis Hamilton's home track of Silverstone, the Maranello based team was in a promising and favourable position. They were now in control of the championship with just half of the season left and had a car quick enough to widen that gap between themselves and the Silver Arrows even further. The Mercedes Empire was starting to falter and looked like many fallen empires before them to be on the way out. But then... No, fire! Oh! No, senor! No, senor! No, senor! No, senor! No, senor! No, senor! Ferrari opened the door wide enough for Mercedes to punish the beginning of fatal mistakes made by Vettel and his team. Every big error made by Vettel or Ferrari for the rest of the season was pounced upon by Mercedes and they inflicted as much damage to end the title hopes of their rivals for a fifth consecutive title for the team and a fifth driver's title for Hamilton. Well, with some new regulations coming into force for 2019 on the aerodynamic side, maybe it would be third time lucky for Ferrari. That hope would only be bolstered by them being paraded as the media's 2019 pre-season champions for perceived superior pace to everyone else. There could be only one answer from the Empire. Eight consecutive race wins would obliterate all hope of a title battle. Once the relentless domination was broken towards the summer break in 2019, hopes arise that maybe Ferrari could return stronger in 2020, or that even the Honda-powered Red Bulls would prove to be a force the following year with Verstappen and Leclerc taking poles and later on in 2019 race wins for their respective teams. What most gullible people fail to realise is Mercedes was already working on making 2020 even more successful and possibly record-breaking than years past. But still the hype going into the season of a possible title fight between two separate teams unrealistically grew, with yours truly being very guilty of giving fuel to it. Still, it's a new season, who knows what could happen. It appears only one thing was always going to happen. Mercedes conquering all and declaring superiority over every organism not under a Mercedes contract. This would lead to a record-breaking 7th consecutive title with Lewis Hamilton taking his 7th title too. The differences between years past and this year though were quite terrifying for their opposition. Their driver lineup is consistent, fast and hasn't a chance of recreating the days of Rosberg's fight with current Mercedes number 1, Lewis Hamilton. The reliability of their power unit is still the best by far and now that Ferrari were finally caught doing something with their power unit, they now have Mercedes all the power needed. The scariest part of it all is that this car has no weaknesses at all. It is literally the perfect racing car. No oversteer, no understeer, just purely on rails. That is why this season has illustrated why they are the greatest team of all time, but also have the greatest dominance over a certain period of time compared to any other great team before them. The only thing able to stop them from winning every single Grand Prix up until they clinched the World Championships was an amazing drive, which was helped by an unusually hot race in England, and elapsing concentration by the pit wall in pitting a car in a pit lane that was closed. And then after they won the drivers and constructors titles, the reason they didn't win these particular races 
was down to them purely handicapping themselves. And in fact, this season, if it wasn't for Max Verstappen, the entire field would be lapped enough times during the season for Mercedes to declare that they have completed Formula 1. And the sad fact for anyone opposing the regime is there is no escape for at least a year from this dominance. You may think Red Bull, Ferrari and the rest have closed the gap only to realise that yet again, Mercedes are already fully developing next year's monster. You may think the new rules reset in 2022 will see a new order only yet again to realise how much is needed in 2022 to overturn this dominance. At this point, believing anyone other than Mercedes can win a race, let alone a championship, should be declared as wrong think and fake news. If you're a fan of any driver or team not linked to Mercedes, then you may as well accept the fate of continuously congratulating and bowing to the masters of Formula 1. The future is truly silver and I refuse to believe anyone else can be champions until it has actually happened. Get used to it. The Mercedes empire is in full flow and there is no stopping it.